good morning and welcome to today's upload. My name's Emma, stick around for hauls, vlogs and chats and if you are new here, Welcome to the channel, we are a Disney loving family from Birmingham which is right in the centre of England. It's me, Stephen and then our two children who are 11 and 13. We've been on loads of Disney trips to go and check them out, we've done Disneyland Paris, Disney Cruises, uh, Florida, so there's lots of playlists you can catch up with. I think dating back to like maybe 2016 or something, there's a lot. There's a lot and you are joining us on a trip. We are off to California. We're not just doing Disney this time, we're doing Universal Studios, we're doing Warner Brothers Studios. The boys are going to watch a football match at LA Galaxy, so that might pop up on here as well. We are doing everything and we are off today to the airport and we are gonna go and fly to Los Angeles. That's what they are. LAX, sweet dreams, ma. LA, all sing Rachel. Stephen's niche 90s reference for you there. Yeah, we're off today. Um, sometimes we stay the night before we fly, but this time we decided to stay at home, get an extra good night's sleep in our own beds, and then we've paid for the lounge. So no hotel, but we've paid for the lounge. So when we get there, we've got a few hours in there, we can have breakfast, make sure all like phones and everything's charged. So I will definitely show you that. It is currently 6.37, we're due to leave at 6.45. If you've watched my travel videos, all right munchkin, I've got one munchkin coming in. If you've watched my travel videos, I'm in my jumpsuit again. He's in his Adidas tracksuit, so he's gone sportswear. I've gone popsy jumpsuit. I think I've worn it on every trip that we've seen. Definitely recommends. Oh, he recommends his Adidas, Adidas tracksuit. He's wearing sliders. I'm going to wear Nike sliders. I'm going to wear uh, my Birkenstocks because I'm going to put compression socks on because I'm an old lady. Also, I've just slathered myself in moisturiser because it's going to be a long flight. And I've got some um, like face masks and stuff to do on the flight. So come along with us. Let's get in the car. It's actually sunny, isn't it? Yeah. Which has shocked us. Normally it's dark. It's usually dark, but it's sunny. It's lovely outside today, so it's a nice way to kick start our holiday. And I'm so happy you're coming with us. So let's go. Hello, guys. We have made it to Heathrow Airport. We had a little bit of a disaster because somebody left the case with all the shoes in in the bedroom but it wasn't too bad was it you kind of like were driving for about 20 minutes and then all of a sudden he was like oh, left all the shoes so we had to turn around and erin's laughing at him turn around but it was fine because we got them i got to go for another wee and then we got here it took us about two hours to get here um we parked at the one what's it called where they get they collect the cars meet and greet and then we've come up to the number one lounge and I will show you some of the food. We're here for breakfast but our flight has been delayed so I do think we might be here for lunch as well. Uh, you can get three hours in here so I don't know if we get kicked out after three hours. I don't know what happens if you're delayed. No idea what we'll soon find out. We're delayed by an hour and a half at the moment. The kids are just getting their colouring out. Can't even wait to go on the plane to do it. Um, but so far it's going very smoothly. Everybody's really friendly. We got through security really quick, like really quickly. No problems. I've just had a croissant and a hot chocolate. Stephen's had sausages, obviously. Um, the kids have had some breakfast, and we're just going to hang out here, maybe. Um, it is very busy in the airport, but we're gonna. I'll go around and look at duty free in a bit. But I will show you what kind of food they've got on offer. They've got hot drinks there, and over here, there's like little donuts. There's fruit. There's cereal. There's also like a pancake maker. They look really nice. I don't think the kids have seen those. And then you've got like normal breakfast, and also there is a bar over there. We're in this little area over here. <laughs> and it was reserved I, I presume i presume they'd just put you somewhere so they know what time it is there's also a cinema in here as well isn't there the kids can go watch film but they're just doing some coloring did you see the donut holes ethan the donut like little donuts maybe we could get some of them later i'm really hot i'm like I'm like a shining bit why am i so hot um we're still here the plane is still delayed it's not a problem They've changed the breakfast food to lunch, so there is pasta, 
potato. Diced potato. Is that what they're called? Potato cubes. Hot. Cubes of potato. So hot. Um, what else is there? Rice corn. Why? <laughs> okay, Ethan would like me to show you what he's got to drink on the plane and he highly recommends it. Add that to your list, people. Um, we are just waiting a little bit long. I don't, why? Why am I so red? Is it hot in here? Yeah, and I having a hot flush. That's why they put fans oh. um, We're just waiting, probably about another 20 minutes, and then we will walk down to the plane. Hopefully, I'll call off. I might go and rinse me, me wrists under the bathroom. there the last time you saw me on your screens I was frazzled on a plane frazzled on a plane what happened you're saying Emma what happened what happened to the room tour so the plane was a bit delayed wasn't a problem the staff on the virgin plane were absolutely delightful food wise we got on and we had a lunch there so we got on actually we had like a little pack of snacks then we had a lunch and I had like pasta with a kind of chocolatey pudding then we had an ice lol then we had like a cheese toasty and then we had an afternoon tea it was so much food it was so much food so we had all the food and we landed it took quite a while for us to get through I want to say customs security not customs is it called customs through security and then we got out and we booked a car to come and pick us up to bring us to the hotel because we're not driving and he said he was there my friends he was not there he was not there for a, for a, for a while for a long while um he 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 took a while to arrive he was a very nice man he took a while for it to arrive and if anybody has ever had to get a car or an uber be picked up from lax it's an experience it's very busy not what we are used to with English airports. Um, it was very busy. So we got in. By the time we got here, it was absolutely pitch black. I think it was maybe like gone 8 o'clock. So obviously in England, that would be 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3 in the morning. So we were quite frazzled. The boys went and got us a drink. And um, whilst I unpacked, had a drink went to bed and then I woke up at 1am and the boys woke up at 3am and Erin woke up at 5am. So I didn't have chance to film a room tour. What I will say is the hotel is absolutely stunning. So um, I will after I've done the room tour I will film like a kind of a hotel tour because if you're thinking of staying you will love it. I'm going to do room tour, but we have unpacked. So it's just got our stuff in. So it's like an unpacked room tour. It's clean. Um, and it has been tidied, but it is just a family room tour. So you come in and this section here, you have a mirror and you have a place you can put your case. This case we do not need to 
unwrap or unpack because this is our Disney case. And the hotel we are staying at is the Garland and everything is really vintage. It is, so, oh, hello dear friends. The Garland is so cute. That will be coming home with me. So you have a mirror, hello. You have this section here. You could put cases in here. You could put cases under here. We've got some shoes and then some Target bits. Please subscribe because there is a Target shop with me and haul coming your way very, very soon. To the left, we have a wardrobe, another mirror. I've hung clothes up. There is also a safe. Um, they sell things in this room, like tote bags and stuff. It's so strange, but yeah. And some more room for shoes. And then to your right, there is like a coffee nook. It came with a bottle of water and red wine and white wine, which we will not be drinking. That will stay in there. Six dollars for a bottle of water, 24 dollars for that. No, thank you. That will not be drunk. So that will not be drank. Um, it has got a fridge, so we've filled it with our own drinks. It's also got a coffee machine, um, but this is where we've just got snacks and drinks for the next few days. We've got drinks in here because we like to save a bit of money. There is a nice bathroom. Oh, I'll put the toilet seat down because people get ever so across the toilet seat. So, um, it's just a single thing, but lots of storage underneath. Lots of storage on top, um, little shelves there, cute. A very big shower, no bath in this one, but look at this. You can turn the shower on from outside the shower. I don't know, I don't understand. Is that what it's meant for? I can barely reach. But it's a nice big shower, I had a shower this morning. It's nice, all oh, the floor is very nice and clean pegs to hang things off. Oh, that's a nice picture. Look, Paramount Studios. It's just all very Daisy and the Six vintage retro. I really like it. Um, then we've got all of our cases lined up nicely here. So a nice big area here. Cases and handbags. We've got drawers, which is good because we've got one drawer per person. We've got Stephen and I at the top, Ethan and Erin uh, at the bottom. I have literally just unpacked um the what they're called packing cubes and just shoved them all in so they're all the same and then they've got like four kind of cubby holes oh it looks it's not as messy when you're here <laughs> like it, this is what it's like when you've got four people especially teens and tweens so Erin's got like a little cubby hole and I've got a little cubby hole then there's a cubby hole for batteries and this is a cubby hole for just like fans and stuff. There is a desk area, a couple of chairs, a giant telly plus a little channel surfing guide. So it tells you what it's got. So it's got 163 channels. It's got anything you could ever possibly want to watch. But at three o'clock this morning, we could find nothing. It's got some like nice lighting very retro two beds another nice picture over here i think is this hollywood bowl maybe i think i'm not sure if you can see and then over here do, 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 it's a nice carpet uh we have got a little balcony with some uh, very cute vintage chairs and a table and again a view of the car park I don't think I've ever had any other view Apart from a car park <laughs> It's fine it Doesn't bother us We love it I love the little chairs They're so cute So if it gets warm enough We can sit out there Little cat walking past So yeah Very, very gorgeous hotel I will go around and film some footage of the actual um, hotel itself. It is just, I'll do it when it's a little bit quiet around the pool and stuff. It's just so nice. It really reminds me of, of well, me and Stephen of da Daisy Jones and the Six. What's the song? <laughs> I'm still so tired. 
someone get me in the next season of Daisy Jones. Make it Daisy Jones and the Seven and get me in it. Um, it's just gorgeous, so I will show it you. Maybe when it gets a bit dark and I can show you all the twinkle lights. It's so pretty, there's like a fireplace. It's just stunning. We have been getting Ubers, so I know people have been interested and have been getting around. So we've been getting Ubers today and it's been fine, absolutely fine. They've all been really, really friendly. It hasn't been too expensive. We usually hire a car and we have found, I look so, I'm, I'm still, because I haven't said that's better, oh my gosh, that's better. Um, I look literally like death warmed up over there because I have, still haven't had much sleep, have I? Running on three hours and two days, I think. Yeah, we've been getting Ubers. We've never, ever had an Uber before. We've never got an Uber before. I know some of you are going to be like, what the heck? We've never got one in England. So we decided to try it out. Really like it. We've got a few today. All the people we've got in the Ubers with have been so interesting. And everything has just been so... I don't know, every chat we've had has just really made us giggle. There's been something we've walked away with and we just thought, oh, that was so fun. We had... Um, the last man, we were in his Uber for an hour because it was such a long journey from where we we, ha we went over to Venice Beach and it was a very long. The traffic here is crazy. When I tell you that man, uh, a monologue about his divorce, a monologue. And as I left, I even said, I hope, I hope it goes well for you. Because I was quite concerned about him because he said that he was getting a divorce because um, his wife watched too much reality television and they don't respect men. We all know how much reality television I watch. We all know, and Stephen said, he perhaps should have divorced me 20 years ago if reality television was anything to do with the breakdown of marriages, so. But yeah, we've loved them. And as, we, as he got out, it was like, oh, I might pick you up again. I thought, well, yeah, please do, because I need to hear the next saga. You are my reality television, Mr. Mr. Man. We gave him a lovely big tip. And I said, oh, could you leave a comment and say that we really enjoyed our conversation? He was like, you can't leave comments on there. I was like, oh. I wanted to give him a bit of feedback and say, keep, keep telling your tales. He told us all about, did you know, there's like bobcats, bears, um, snakes. What was the other thing that he told us about? mountain lions around here and we were like what it was telling us about all the animals that you could find bobcats evidently eat dogs and my kids like this it was just brilliant tell me more tell me more and then he spoke to Stephen about that football and also he'd met the rock found all of this out found it all out it was great uh so ubers so far have been brilliant i will tot up at the end if it is worth it I will say we've noticed um, if you were going to park at the hotel, it would have been $40 a night. And um, plus your parking wherever you go in, plus your hire. So I'll let you know if it works out. Better to rent a car or to use Ubers. I'll let you know. Right, my loves, I will show you the rest of the hotel now. I thought I would film the hotel. We are currently walking to go and get the bus to have a day at Universal to make sure you are subscribed so you can watch a Universal vlog. This is the decor inside. It's kind of 60s and 70s. Very, very nice. And then this leads out to the pool area because it's nice and early. I don't think anybody will be in it. So I'll be able to show you and then I'll show you how nice the reception area is. It's all very lovely. It's surrounded by trees. <laughs> Little boy with a wand. Um, lobby pool. So I will show you some little benches. Oh, we could have sat there last night, you know. You know, we couldn't find anywhere to sit. That's stupid of us, isn't it? Here, here we go. They have a gym. Yeah, they have a gym. A pool. So I will show you the pool area. So yeah, Ethan just said kids jacuzzi and adults get jacuzzi. So you see what I mean? It's very vintage, like classic Hollywood. You get cute stripy towels, there's towels over there. A little pool, 
there is a pool bar um, at night this comes up and it shows films and there's all like twinkly lights it's gorgeous isn't it Ethan? Yeah. it's very cute and uh, like a fire pit over there I will just show you the little kind of cafe bit if we go down here you will see there is a very cute little cafe area here a um, little seating area over here and also there's a, a lovely shop do you see what I mean like by old Hollywood vibes I think it's got very Disney vibes don't you think yeah this is a very Disney kind of shop and there is a gorgeous store with all knickknacks in but it's just closed at the moment let me show you the reception over here look at this oops it is <laughs> little sign oh did she drop a what did you drop something yeah. and here is the reception it's so lovely and in there there's like a bar look. it's just a look at the peace sign it's really it's just gorgeous it's very themed and I just Absolutely love it so much. Just thought I would show you the front. You've got some quintessential LA palm trees just there. And that there is the cute little bus. It says, let the good times roll that you go to Universal. Here it is. So yeah, definitely subscribe and then you'll be able to see our Universal video.